speaking today from two places. The first is as a concerned citizen of the Walltown neighborhood, and the second is as a leader in the faith community. Last year there was an incident that started my concern for the way that our neighborhood is policed. Just after my wife and I went to bed, I saw police lights outside of our house. I got up to go outside to see what was going on. I saw two police cars, one on each side of my neighbor's van. Dogs were outside sniffing the vehicle for drugs. I saw a friend of mine standing outside the van, so I went to him to ask what was going on. He said his housemate, whom he had let borrow his van, had been pulled over for stopping beyond the line at a stop sign. The driver and passenger were African-American young men. The driver did not get a ticket for the traffic stop, and the officers found no drugs. Holding these young men up for an hour and humiliating them with narcotics dogs is unwarranted for simply stopping over the line at a stop sign. Another friend of mine, an African-American who lives in Chicago, on the way home, uh, was on his way out of town when he was pulled over by a Durham police officer for a traffic violation. He was held up for over an hour as the car was searched for drugs. When he told the officer that he was a seminary student, the officer laughed at him. They left his car a mess. Unfortunately, these examples are part of a larger issue, as black motorists in our city are 162% more likely to be searched from traffic stops than whites. As the Minister of Adult Discipleship and Witness at Duke Memorial, I have the task of equipping my congregation to, as Micah 6.8 says, do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with our God. And in a city where marijuana usage rates are the same among whites and blacks, and blacks are four times more likely to be arrested for marijuana possession than whites, I can't do justice without demanding a change to how and where drug laws are enforced. Perhaps what grieves me the most is what happens to young black men once they have a drug offense on the record. I have a number of friends and neighbors from my neighborhood who struggle to find housing, jobs, and other benefits because of a drug record. They want to do the right thing, but it's hard when they are constantly rejected. I would love to see less people use, abuse, and deal drugs, but giving someone a prison sentence and a record puts them in a position where it's more difficult to choose alternatives. And when African Americans face these challenges more than whites, even though whites are equally as guilty, something is wrong. This is why I stand with Fade in asking for more police accountability. We have suggested practical ways this can happen that I hope you consider. Thank you.